If you have an Etsy store and you're looking to migrate over to Shopify, but you have no idea how to get all of your Etsy listings over to your new Shopify store, this video is going to walk you through the kind of relatively easy step-by-step -step to both take your listings from Etsy and export them and then import them into Shopify with no additional apps. <laughs> So that's the thing, no additional apps. You can definitely find some apps through the Shopify store that will probably give you some support on how to, you know, get everything over through an app. But I always like to do the scrappy and DIY ways. So I'm going to walk you through how to number one, get your listings from Etsy into a CSV file. And then two, how to import those into your Shopify store. And I'm using my own Etsy store as an example. I sell digital products on Etsy, but it's the same thing if you sell uh, physical products as well. So let's dive into it. And if we have not met before, my name is Carrie Fitzgerald. I'm an e-commerce and a Shopify store ninja and marketing strategist. And I'm here to help you both start your product-based business or grow your product-based business into something wildly successful. All right, let's dive into it. The first file that I'm going to play with play for you in a sec is going to show you how to go into Etsy and then download your file. And I'm going to walk you through step by step of where to go in Etsy to do that. All right, I'm back. The next file we're gonna show you is the file where you go into Shopify and you actually import that file from Etsy and it's gonna show you um, how it looks like, how to do it, and that's gonna actually, I'm gonna show you an example of one of my listings so you can see all of the product descriptions and the images completely uploaded into Etsy. Let's go. See, wasn't that so easy? It's really easy to get all of your listings from Etsy over to your Shopify store. So now that you know how to do that, I just want to kind of give you a couple pointers on Shopify versus Etsy and what the difference between the two of them are. So Etsy is a marketplace. It's a third party marketplace platform. So Etsy, the benefit of Etsy is they have their own audience of people who are obsessed with Etsy and that love to shop there. So if you're a small business or a product based business and you upload some products to Etsy, you have to figure out how to get customers on the Etsy platform to find your products there. So it's the built-in audience, you have to figure out how to optimize your listing so people find you. And you're gonna do a lot of that through um, having optimized listings, using the right keywords, the titles and tags. On Shopify, on the other hand, it is not the framework of if you build it, they will come. You have to drive your own traffic there. So Shopify is your own store and you have to drive all the traffic there. So there's definitely pros and cons to both. I'm definitely always team Shopify. I like to have things that I have control over and I can grow on my own. 
Um, and the big difference between when you upload Etsy listings into Shopify is the titles. The titles on Etsy are going to be very keyword stuffed. And on Shopify, you want to have a very SEO friendly title. So for example, if you sell baby blankets, you might have a listing on Shopify and your listing is called like the Madonna muslin baby blanket where it describes the name of the product, the Madonna, and then it describes the baby blanket, muslin baby blanket, because that's a type of material. But on Etsy, your title of the Etsy product might say muslin baby product slash baby product slash baby blankets slash blah, 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 blah. It's very much keyword stuffed, but that's not how your title should be on your Shopify store. So a little tidbit of advice on that. All right, guys, if you need any help with building a awesome Shopify store, you can check out my services, I have a couple of freebies for you that walk you through how to build a Shopify store and a converting website. So any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.